March 17, 2018 The Servant's Primary Goal We make it our aim, to be well-pleasing to Him. 2 Corinthians 5 9 We make it our aim. It requires a conscious decision and effort to keep our primary goal constantly in front of us. It means holding ourselves to the highest priority year in and year out, not making our first priority to win souls, or to establish churches, or to have revivals, but seeking only to be well-pleasing to Him. It is not a lack of spiritual experience that leads to failure, but a lack of working to keep our eyes focused and on the right goal. At least once a week examine yourself before God to see if your life is measuring up to the standard He has for you. Paul was like a musician who gives no thought to audience approval, if he can only catch a look of approval from his conductor. Any goal we have that diverts us even to the slightest degree from the central goal of being approved to God, 2 Timothy 2.15, may result in our rejection from further service for Him. When you discern where the goal leads, you will understand why it is so necessary to keep looking unto Jesus, Hebrews 12,2. Paul spoke of the importance of controlling his own body so that it would not take him in the wrong direction. He said, I discipline my body and bring it into subjection, lest, I myself should become disqualified, 1 Corinthians 9,27. I must learn to relate everything to the primary goal, maintaining it without interruption. My worth to God publicly is measured by what I really am in my private life. Is my primary goal in life to please Him and to be acceptable to Him, or is it something less, no matter how lofty it may sound?